So it, it, that's why systems thinking in and of itself is really a much more complex thing than just seeing how pieces fit together. The, the, the concern is uh, when you get into real systems thinking, systems interact with each other and they change the outcome as, as they interact. It's not about inputs and outputs of each individual piece. It's about how an input and an output of one part of a system, one mini system, I, you would say, actually impacts every other system it interacts with. So then the inputs and outputs of every other system get impacted by the inputs and outputs of one system. That's systems thinking. So basically, everything changes when one thing changes. And understanding how that works is what I'm talking about when I talk about systems thinking. It's not inputs and outputs only because the how they interact, it changes the requirements of what's happening. So it, that's why systems thinking in and of itself is really a much more complex thing than just seeing how pieces fit together. And I think that's where some of like the bigger problems we have will actually be solved by AI because I think for us, we, I think we are capped to a certain extent on some of the complexity of, of how systems do interact with each other. So thinking of, of really big problems that we have not been able to solve as, as, as a society, as humanity, that put enough resources together to be able to see it all at the same time, which I think there is a limitation in our, in our organic matter, in our, in our minds to be able to do that. I think that's where these artificial intelligence will be able to do that at some point. And I think well, it's, 